So in this video I'm going to talk about arrow conventions, how to draw arrows, and how to draw molecules using different types of bond lines. And so first let's start off with arrow conventions. And so there are different types of arrows. So this one would be marked as a reaction arrow. This one, right here, let's separate these. Equilibrium arrow. This right here, a curved one with a double, it's called a double headed arrow, indicates two electrons moving. And then a single headed arrow indicates one electron moving from one atom to another. And then finally, I'll draw it over here. You have this arrow and that represents a resonance arrow. And so what we're going to talk about mostly is drawing double-headed arrows, um, mostly to do with electron movement. And so let's give an example. So let's say you have a water molecule with two lone pairs and then you have a hydrogen atom or a proton the arrow convention is you always have to start it at the electron source so start arrow at source of electrons and then you end at the site that is electron poor. So essentially the side, the atom or bond that's positive at the positive end. And it has to be drawn this way. So the way the arrows are drawn are really important. And so if you were to do it this way, that would be really wrong. So don't draw it like that. And then let's try one more example. So for example, you have C, um, CH3, H3C, CH3, and then a chlorine. And so what can occur is the chlorine can leave, so the electrons are being taken from that bond. And then remember this that is a reaction arrow and then you make something like this CH3 H3C CH3 with a positive and then plus Cl minus and so that's pretty much the arrow conventions we'll be using that throughout all of organic chemistry and now let's move on to bond line drawings so essentially there are easier ways to draw molecules containing carbon instead of going like this and drawing out a 20 carbon chain there are easier ways so let's talk about that so first there's a Lewis structure Lewis structure so let's make a graph actually so there's a condensed structural formula and line angle so Lewis structure and so let's do two different molecules I guess so the Lewis structure for this
and those are all hydrogens. And so something that looks like that for a Lewis structure will have a condensed structural formula of this. And so it's essentially naming the molecules in order going across. And so you have one CH3 at each end and then two CH2s in the middle. And then you could have a line angle structure drawn like this. Probably the easiest one and the most simplest one um, to represent that same molecule. So all three of those represent the same molecule. It's just different ways of drawing it. Um, but one thing to note, if you're drawing um, the condensed structural formula and the line angle, is here, let's just do another problem. So let's say you have a ring. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. So pretend there are H's. I can't really draw this out well, but there are two H's on all of those. So the condensed structural formula, you actually have to, if it's put in a ring, you have to draw it as a ring. So it would be CH2, CH2. CH2, 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 and that's just so people can know what it actually looks like. But, tell you the truth, you're never really going to see the condensed structural formula for a ring. You'll probably most likely see this as a line angle. And so, in a line angle, you have to draw the molecules that are not carbons. So, for example, let's try some other um, examples. So let me just erase this. So let's start off with something like this. A nitrogen, carbon, 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 carbon nitrogen and we'll throw double bonds in there and then H H H H H and lone pair on the nitrogen so that would be the Lewis structure the condensed structure would look something like it would look like this CH2 CH2 Oh, wait, sorry. That would just be CH. 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 And then we have to add the double bonds. And so that would be the condensed um, structure for that molecule. And finally, the line angle, the most simple one. It would be one, two, three, double bonds there. And so as you can tell, for line angles, the hydrogens are not drawn out, but they're implied. So as you, like, there are actually hydrogens located there, but they're just not drawn out. And so, let me get rid of that. And so that's important to remember. Everything else in a line angle has to be drawn out except for carbons and hydrogens. And the carbons are located here at like every essentially turn.